Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth video on Docker Learning Series 1 Network Engineers. In this video, we will see how to convert container into an image and how to import and export image from one Docker to another Docker. Uh, here in the previous video, we have created some containers. We will see Docker PS hyphen A. You can see I have multiple containers, Ubuntu containers available here. This I created in the previous video using docker file. This I pulled from docker hub and uh, created my Ubuntu with Ansible. We'll see that container and my Ubuntu is running with Ansible. If you want to verify that docker attach my Ubuntu. So you can see here I'm inside Ansible files and I have file 01 playbook you can see the file system here now what I'll do I'll just try to create an image from this container if you see my image list docker images you can see I have two Ubuntu and one I created using docker file this is 224 MB and these are default file size now I'm going to convert this container into one image so that I'll get an image with all the Ansible packages everything installed so for that command is docker commit we'll see that command here So this creates a new image from container let's see here docker commit hyphen h hyphen hyphen help will give here we can even give option of messages change list everything so we we'll, this video will do a simple commit docker commit then I'll give the container name my Ubuntu this container and I'll save it as Ansible Ubuntu colon version 1 I'll call let me execute this it will take a while because lot of packages are installed there yeah you can see it has been created now let me check my images list you can see now I have one image called Ansible Ubuntu and size you can see it is 663 MB because I have installed a lot of packages here now to create a container using this image the command is docker run hyphen it hyphen hyphen name and I'll give test and Sybil test and Sybil and the image name is Ansible Ubuntu V1. Now I'm inside this container. So you can see this has all the file systems which was available in the previous container now if we check the containers you can see test Ansible is running and you can see it is using 1 MB of memory now 
now let me go to ansible files you can see even the playbook file is available there let me try running it so when we tested ansible we used this for executing for getting output from cisco device let's try running it we'll give password you can see here using ansible i'm able to run command on cisco device let's try running on playbook as well So here, so I just created image using one container and then I created a container using another image. Now we'll see how to take a backup of this image so that it can be used in another machine. For that the command is docker save. We'll see the command here. So this is a command to save it as a tar file compressed file so we'll try running this okay i already had a file here i'll delete it docker save help we'll give the image name image name is docker save and sub to v1 and we need to give this greater than symbol then and sibluubuntu.tar I'll give we can give any file name here so it will save it in same location yeah now let's go and see here yeah you can see here file has been saved now what I'll do I'll delete this image docker images you can see i have answer blue ubuntu and docker ps okay it is not running so i'll stop the container and delete the image docker rm test ansible i'll delete this container then i'll delete the image rm i ansible ubuntu now let's verify the images list now i don't have ansible images but i have backup of ansible ubuntu now let me restore that for that command is docker load there will be a lot of advanced options all these you can explore it i'm just showing it in high level so you can see here docker load here we'll give less than simple docker load and less than simple then we'll give the tar file name you can see now it is loading that file yeah 
now let's verify the image list docker images and you can see ansible ubuntu is available here now we'll try to run a container using this the command will be already there test ubuntu yeah now you can see a new container has been created using the imported image if you give ip you can see here 0 0.2 and even that also would be able to run any playbook now if you want to see the network details of the container the command is docker network inspect bridge you can see the ip of the test and civil container as i have mentioned earlier it is using bridge network in the next video we'll see how to expose particular port number to external network from container all this time we were using bridge network i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video